Hi there. Today we are looking at the history of Tantallon Castle, one of the most dramatic and imposing of Scottish strongholds in East Lothian, Scotland. Tantallon Castle was the mighty fortress of the powerful Red Douglas family. Cutting off a cliff-top headland with a huge wall, massive towers in a deep ditch, but finally attacked and partially destroyed in the siege of 1651. One of the most impressive castles in southern Scotland, Tantallon Castle is a large 14th century courtyard castle. It consists of a massively thick, 50-foot high curtain wall, blocking off a steep coastal headland, the sea and the heights of the cliff defending the castle on three sides. In front of the wall is a deep ditch, and at each end are ruined towers, which housed much of the accommodation for the castle. One is round and formerly grand, known as the Douglas Tower, and the D-shaped East Tower. There are excellent views from the battlements. The shell of a massive gatehouse stands at the middle of the wall and rises to six storeys. Within the castle walls are the remains of a range of buildings which contained a hall, kitchen, brew house and private chambers. There is also a deep well and the foundations of a sea gate. Further earthworks form the outer bailey, which has a small stone gatehouse, protected by a round tower and many gun loops, and a large lectern style 17th century ducat, probably dating from the 1651 siege. Tantallon Castle is marked on Blue's map of the Lothians from 1654. It is also identified on the Adair's map of East Lothian from 1744. The origins of the castle date back to the 14th century. The castle was built by William Douglas, 1st Earl of Douglas, in about 1350. William waylaid and slew his godfather, another William Douglas, the infamous Knight of Liddlesdale and secured his position as the most powerful lord in the borders. George Douglas, his son, became the first Earl of Angus, the first of the Red Douglases. He married Princess Mary Stuart, the second daughter of Robert II, in 1397. He was captured at the Battle of Homelden Hill in Northumberland in 1402 and died of the plague the following year while still in captivity. James, the third Earl, used Tantallon to pursue a vendetta against the rival branch of the family, the Black Douglases, whose main stronghold was Threve Castle in Dumfries. His brother, George, later the fourth Earl of Douglas, and James II's army routed the Black Douglases' forces at Arkenholm in 1455 and he was rewarded with the Lordship of Douglas. He died in 1463. Archibald, the fifth Earl, known as Belle the Cat, hanged James III's favourites, including Robert Cochran, from the bridge at Lauder. He entered into a treasonable pact with Henry VII of England, which led to James IV of Scotland besieging Tantallon in 1491. Archibald died in 1513, and his two sons were killed at the Battle of Flodden that same year, along with James IV and many nobles and men. His grandson, another Archibald, 
succeeded as the sixth Earl of Angus. In 1514, he married Margaret Tudor, widow of James IV and sister of Henry VIII. In 1528, after many dubious adventures, Archibald had to flee to Tantallon and James V besieged the castle with artillery. After 20 days, the king was forced to abandon the attack. Douglas retired to England and the castle passed into the hands of the king. When James V died in 1542, Angus returned and again took possession of Tantallon. By 1543, England and Scotland were at war and Archibald offered to surrender the castle to the English. However, during the invasion, the English desecrated the Douglas tombs at Melrose Abbey. Archibald changed sides and led the Scots to victory at the Battle of Ancrum Moor near Jedburgh in 1545. He also led the Scots, along with the Earl of Hamilton, to defeat at the much more decisive Battle of Pinky Clue near Musselburgh in 1547. Archibald died at the castle in 1556. There is a sculpture commemorating the battle within a new housing estate on the site of the original battlefield in Musselburgh. Archibald, the eighth Earl, entered into more treasonable negotiations with the English and had to go into exile in 1581. He died in England in 1588. As a result, it was said of a spell cast by Agnes Sampson, who was later condemned as a witch by James VI and burnt at the stake. William, the ninth Earl, died in 1591, and the 10th Earl, another William, was a staunch Catholic who was also forced into exile to die in France in 1611. His son, again William, 11th Earl, also became Marquis of Douglas. Tantallon was seized by Covenanters in 1639. In 1650, Moss troopers, based at the castle along with Darleton and Innerwick, did so much damage to Cromwell's lines of communication that in 1651 he sent a large army with ordnance to attack the castle. Cromwell sent two to three thousand troops under General Monk, together with much of the artillery he had in Scotland, and lay siege to Tantallon. After twelve days of cannon bombardment, a breach was made in the Douglas Tower. The defenders were compelled to surrender, but only after a quarter had been granted, in recognition of their bravery. The siege of Tantallon was also interesting in that the Commonwealth land forces were supported by the Commonwealth Navy, which later became the Royal Navy. After the siege, Tantallon was left in ruins. It was never repaired or inhabited afterwards. James Douglas, second Marquis of Douglas, the 12th Earl of Angus, was forced, due to gambling debts occurred by himself and his father, to consolidate his estates. The ruins of Tantallon were sold in 1699 to Sir Hugh Dalrymple, the president of the Court of Session, who also owned the barony of North Berwick, the Bass, Phaedra and other properties in the area. Dalrymple allowed the castle to decay further and to be quarried to a certain extent for stone. The castle is now in the care of Historic Environment Scotland as a scheduled ancient monument. Tantallon Castle was used as a location for the 2013 sci-fi movie Under the Skin with Scarlett Johansson. and for the 1998 Bollywood movie Kutch Kutch Hotter High, a very successful romantic comedy. Some scenes 
from the 2018 movie The Outlaw King and the 2019 movie Mary Queen of Scots with Margot Robbie have the castle as a backdrop seen from the shore, although it has been digitally altered. There are some stories the castle is haunted, and young people who had been paying an out-of-hours visit to Tantallon were scared away by a figure walking along the battlements. An interesting photo was taken in the gatehouse, looking up towards an old doorway. This had been interpreted as an apparition, perhaps in a rough, and got much coverage in the press. Once again, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like, share and comment on the video, it is very much appreciated. See you next time, and bye for now.